children. I'm so happy to see you once again. How are you? Um, now, today we are going to talk about something very, very important. Now, this is called early child marriage. Early child what? Early child marriage. Now, now, a child is an individual or a human being who is below the age of 18. That is according to the constitution of Uganda. Now, do you know what the constitution is? A constitution is the set of laws that govern the what? The country. So according to the set of laws that govern our country, Uganda, a child is the one that is below the age of 18. So, but we have seen this many uh, people, young children below the age of 18, they really, they are in, they end up in early child marriage, which is against the law. Now, I'm going to take you through the causes of, of, uh, of early child marriage. First of all, we have poverty. Now, the reason why uh, poverty is a problem because some parents force their children, they force their children to get married in an expectation for financial gain in the, in the process of bride price or dowry. They think that if they send their daughter to get married, they are going to get money. So that is number one cause of early child marriages. And then another cause is that some parents are unable to provide for food for their children. Some of them they cannot provide. So they decide, they are like, okay, let me send you and you get married. And so, which is really not good. Then another factor is social influence or social pressure. Some kids just run into marriages because they see other people, they are pressured, they feel like they have grown, which is not a good thing. Then there is lack of access to education. Some children do not have access to education and in the long run they, they end up finding getting married as a cheaper option to overcome that. But let me tell you, early child marriage is dangerous very dangerous because it has got consequences all the effects so these are the consequences that i'm going to tell you number one is domestic violence now when eventually they get married they go there sometimes they are not loved it is not love they go there they are beaten some of them they sustain injuries on their body they are beaten so, I mean, so they, they sustain injuries and in the long run they get disabled. Some children have been disabled. They, they, they become disabled. And in the and the worst of all, they die. Some of them are killed there. So that is one of the domestic violence is so bad. Then there is first um first sexual relations. They first of all, these are young people, they do not know what sexual relations are all about. So in the long run, because they are married to these old people, they are they, 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 they are defiled, they are raped, and which is really bad. Then number three is ill health. The, one of the consequences of, 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 the, of, of early child marriage is ill health, whereby they get ill, they reach there because they don't have the capacity to sustain the marriage. They are after being beaten, whatever they fall sick, and which is really dangerous to a child's life. Then lastly, there is school dropout because once you run to marriage, to get married, you will drop out of school. And the end, at the end of it all, you will lose your education. You will be illiterate. You will be illiterate. And of course, at the end of it all, you will not be sustained in future. Therefore, one thing you must tear from me is that it is not acceptable for a child to get married. It is not acceptable when you are not yet, uh, and, and, and it is not that when you reach 18 you get married. No, make sure that you first study, finish your academics, and then at the end of it all you will be at any time at, at freedom to get married. But what when it happens? Or when you hear that your parents are telling you to go and get married, or you see your friend is being forced into getting married, this is what I want you to do. I do not want you to keep quiet. Make sure that you report to the nearest police near you. Go to the police and tell them, you know what, this is what is happening. I am being forced, and let me tell you, once you report to the police, they will be able to direct you. Now, in case you don't have police, you can go to the health center. You talk to the doctors, the healthcare workers, they will be able to make sure that to, to, 
to guide you accordingly because those people, they have the authority to carry out tests, make sure that you get uh, the best uh, help. Then lastly is report to the, there are, so now police can report to the implementing partners. We have now in our Nachivali refugee settlement, we have a window trust, you can report to window trust or the office of the prime minister, or you can go to, uh, there is um, the UNIFSAF or wherever, and then when you go there, they can, they can take these people who are trying to force you there into courts, and at the end of it all, you will be saved and your friend will be saved. So class, this is what I want you to know. Do not allow anyone to force you to are marriage. It is not godly, it is not allowed, and the government of Uganda does not allow it. And we as a project, we do not like this. So thank you so much for listening to me. Let us catch you next time. See you.